Today in Google Sheets, I'm going to show you how to autofill your columns with numbers with this neat trick. So what I mean is if I try and type something right here, a number would automatically appear on the left side. Now, isn't that neat? Let me show you how to do it. So I did this with three functions, the row function, the if function, and the array formula. So let's start with the row function. What does the row function do? It will tell you the number of the row that you are in. So right now, if I type in row, it will tell me that I am in row number two. But if I try and put in a cell reference, let's say D1, then it will return you the number of one, which is the row number of that cell. There you have it. Next one is the if function. Now the if function will give us a return value depending if our condition is met or not. So what we want to do here is to have the number appear in this cell right here if this cell is not empty. So let's go ahead and do that. Start with the equal sign, type in if. Then your logical expression is again, if this cell is not equal to an empty space, then come in a row function. A return value would be the row function with a1 as a reference, returning us the value of 1. So let's close that off and press enter. And right now it's telling it's false because again, this cell is empty. So since we didn't put in a return value for false, it's just simply telling us false. But if we do write something right here, it will give us the number one. So let's change our formula so that it doesn't give us the false value. Instead, what we want is for it to give us an empty space as well if the B2 cell is empty. So if we press enter, both cells are now empty because if this is empty, this will be empty. If this is not empty, then it will give us the number one. Now let's try and apply that to both our columns. And we're going to do that with the array formula. So let's put in array formula right here. And select our range, which would be from B2 to B, let's just leave it at B, let it be an open reference so that whatever we put in there, this formula will be applied. And for a row, it will be the same thing as well. Open-ended cell reference, A1 to just column A. And if we press enter, there you have it. If we remove this, the number one will disappear. But if we put it back, there is our number. If we add some more, like so, there we have our numbers appearing on the left side automatically as we type in our products. And there you have it. That's how to autofill your columns with numbers with this neat trick. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.